Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for story time. I am Miss Mary Beth, the librarian for kids and teens at the Skinny Atlas Library, and I would like to start with our hello song. So our hello song has some food in it. It has bread and butter and something else called marmalade, which is like a fruity jam or jelly that tastes really good on your bread or your toast. And our hello song starts like this. We go on our knees and then we clap. Knees, clap, good job. Knees, clap. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Nice and loud. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello like a car can. We're gonna honk our, our car horn, ready? Honk, honk, beep, beep, beep. Honk, honk. Good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello like a train can. Ready? We're going to turn our wheels like this. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo, choo. <laughs> Good job. All right, last one. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello, hello everybody. I miss you. Our book for today is Elephants Can Paint Too. And our author and illustrator is Katya Arnold. She wrote all of our words and she put together all of our photographs. This is a really cool book about elephants, real elephants painting real pictures. Look at that big elephant eye, it's so cool. Look at those long eyelashes. I teach in two schools. One is in the city, the other is in the jungle. Wouldn't it be cool to have school in the jungle? I'd love that. Some of my students have hands. Others have trunks. <laughs> Look at those elephant trunks. They're all twisted together. An elephant's trunk is both a hand and a nose. Not only can a trunk pick things up, it can smell and snore and trumpet and drink and spray. Elephants also use their trunks to communicate in a kind of sign language. A young elephant sucks its trunk the way babies suck their thumbs. Some students eat grass. Others eat peanut butter and jelly. Yum. Do you guys like peanut butter and jelly? But they all love cookies. Look at this big elephant mouth right here with a big elephant tongue and it's eating an Oreo cookie. I love Oreo cookies too, just like elephants. Elephants are vegetarians, which means they don't eat meat. They eat a lot of grass and leaves and twigs and fruit. And they love human food, like cookies. They also love ice cream. 
Mm, they have good taste, these elephants. And they all like to be with their friends. Young elephants play a lot. They wrestle, they climb on each other, they act silly. They talk to each other with sounds people cannot hear. They can also scream and even cry tears when they are sad. Oh, elephants are a lot like us, aren't they? Time for art class. Elephants in Asia can become artists by being taught by people how to use paintbrushes and paints. Like children, elephants learn from their elders and their brothers and sisters. And they also learn from teachers, just like we do. First, I give each student a brush. Look at this brush that she's giving to the elephant. Elephants can learn a lot of commands, sort of like dogs. They can learn come, bring it, stop, and lie down. Some elephants learn to hold a brush right away, but for others, it might take a week or two. Look at how many ways there are to hold the paintbrush. We have this elephant who has wrapped its trunk around the paintbrush. This one has actually stuck the paintbrush up his trunk. <laughs> I don't know how comfortable that would be. That might feel a little strange. And look at, this is a human holding a paintbrush, right? And they're holding it just like you would hold a pencil to write with. Now, let's paint. Look at this kid painting all those lines and look at the elephant painting too. After the teacher guides the elephant's trunk to the paper and says, touch, some elephants drag the brush over the paper, others dab. If the teacher points and says, make a line up here, they do. When they want a new color, they give the brush to the teacher. Some paint for a few minutes. Others can paint for as long as an hour. If they are tired or bored, they drop the brush and walk away. And that's it for their painting lesson, right? These students like to paint dots. Look at all those dots. What are some colors you see in these two paintings? There's yellow and orange and red. There's some greens and blues in this one. I think it looks really cool. Each elephant's painting is different, just like each child's, right? They like to paint. And sometimes, even when class is finished and the teacher is cleaning up, they grab for the brush to keep on painting. These students like bright colors. Here's some more colors. Let's name some of them, okay? There's green, red. What color is this? Blue. There's yellow. This has some black. Very nice. Wow, these students can paint flowers. Most elephants don't paint real things. They paint colored strokes, but some elephants paint trees and flowers. It takes them about three years to learn, but whatever they paint, it helps to praise them and reward them with a treat. Children can learn to paint much faster than elephants do. And everyone has their own style. Look at this painting with the sun and some grass, an apple tree it looks like, a house. Those children did a great job with that painting. And look at this elephant. He's just using different colors, right? To paint, this is called an abstract painting, which just means it has different shapes and colors on the canvas there to make a pretty picture.
anything can happen when the teacher isn't looking. <laughs> right? Just like with children, sometimes they can paint their hand instead of the paper. And look at this elephant. He's in the water. He got his painting all wet. <laughs> Time to clean up. Remember to wash between your toes. When we're painting, we usually don't have to wash between our toes, right? But elephants definitely do. Elephants bathe every day. Like children, they love the water. Although an elephant can weigh as much as six cars, all are good swimmers. Using their trunk as a snorkel, they can swim up to 30 miles without resting. That's a long ways. Elephants are really great swimmers. Art class is over. All my students can paint and be proud. Elephant paintings can be seen in Japan, in Italy, in England, in the United States, and they show people all over the world how amazing the elephant paintings are. A lot of people have even bought elephant paintings. The money that is made is used to provide a secure and healthy life for the Asian elephants. There we go. All the money that they get from their paintings go back to making sure they have a good life, right? Enough food and a nice place to live with lots of green. The end. The end. Look at all these colors here. I bet these are elephant paintings. <laughs> I like this book. I love seeing the pictures of the elephants. I like talking about things that animals can do that are like what we can do, right? If you have a pet at home or even if you have a child who really loves animals, it's kind of fun to compare and contrast how elephants or other animals are like us and how we're different. If you want to, if you have a child at home who really likes facts, um, another cool thing to do to extend the story a little bit is to look on the backs of the books or on the flaps here where they tell you a little bit more about the author or the illustrator. Um, because there's more facts there, right? And you can talk a little bit about what authors and illustrators do. I hope you enjoyed our elephant book today. I have a song to go along with it. It is called Five Elephants in the Bathtub. And we're going to start with one, and then we're going to count all the way up till we get to five. There's a few other hand motions in this one, so we'll use our hand and our fingers to show how many elephants are in our bathtub. And then when our elephants are swimming, we're gonna go like this, like a wave with our hand to show our elephants swimming. And then we have a knock knock on the door and it's gonna sound like this. We're gonna clap our hands. There we go. And then we have a splash splash in the bathtub. We're gonna just slap our knees and now we're gonna say, come on in to the next elephant so we can have more elephants in our bathtub, which is exactly what I want, right? <laughs> All right, so let's start. We're gonna start with one. One elephant in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, <coughs> splash, splash. <coughs> come on in. Now we have two elephants in the bathtub. Two elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock. <coughs> splash, splash. <coughs> Come on in. Now we have how many elephants? One, two, three elephants in the bathtub. It's starting to get a little crowded in here. Three elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock. <coughs> splash, splash. <coughs> Come on in. Now we have four. One, two, three, four elephants. 
four elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock. <coughs> splash, splash. <coughs> Come on in. And now we have all five of our elephants. Five elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock. Splash, splash, and they all fell in. Splash. Thank you everybody for joining us for story time today. I would like to end with our goodbye song. Let's get started, ready? See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, give a kiss, jellyfish, see you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.